Players love scoring 5-hole, and goalies despise it. And while we know lefties are better at exposing the 5-hole, as we detailed in our last video, righties also like to join in on the fun from time to time. So today we're going to break down how your favorite NHL righties are scoring between the pillows. Righty shooters grab a notebook, lefties share with your righty line mates, and tendies, sorry in advance. Unlike lefties who seek out going 5-hole, for righties it's truly a secondary option. They can score tweeners no doubt, they just have better options at their disposal. Before you jump in the comments saying, I'm a righty and I go 5-hole all the time, check this out. On our Instagram we pulled over 250 righties and 250 lefties, and while for lefties it's their second favorite place to score, for righties it came in dead last. And it makes sense. Due to the attendee's stick placement, righties are at a considerable disadvantage finding space between the pillows. This is assuming that goalies are holding their stick in the right hand, as in the NHL we normally see 90-95% of goalies play this way. Additionally, righties right now are a bit preoccupied as they've been cashing in low glove at an alarmingly high rate. And while it seems connecting may never shoot anywhere else, there are 5 methods that righties have at their disposal to go 5-hole. The first one is selling glove side. With Matthews being the outlier, righties typically have the better shots. Think of Ovi, Stammer, Line, Mac, Pasta, the list goes on. And since they have better shots, netminders respect their windups more. With the recent rise in low glove shots, goalies are kicking their left leg out more and more to try to protect low glove, while their glove itself covers high glove. If you could get a goalie to believe that you're trying to go fancy glove side, this will open up a lot of space between the legs. The first time I personally saw this shot in the wild was when Giroud did this to Lundqvist in a 2010 shootout which would send the winning team to the playoffs. With everything on the line, Claude knew that the king would be locked in. He used this against him selling glove side with his eyes and stick before ripping a 5 hole. Unlike with lefties where the best results are to keep the puck along the ice, for this shot you actually want to lift it 5 to 10 inches as the tendy stick will still likely be in the way. You'll notice too that in most cases it's not a quick release to beat the goalie to the deck, it's a calculated and more powerful deceptive release. At the end of the day you need to give the goalie some time to kick out the pad for it to work. And due to this, this shot you actually can beat goalies from a relatively deep distance as it takes time to develop. Now if you get the goalie as bad as Bergeron gets Murray here, you can also slip it along the ice backside 5. This is much harder to do though and relies on the tendy completely being fooled so only use this in situations where high glove is quote unquote the obvious choice. Another method that righties have at their disposal is the delayed 5-hole. This can happen with a deke or a shot, but again it's using the tendies fear against them. The deke version isn't even much of a deke, rather than holding the puck in a shooting position or maybe even faking a shot as you move left to right towards the cage. This gets the goalie to bite and thus when they push off to catch up, their stick positioning is compromised. As you can see in this example, when the tendy pushes to their left, the stick in their right hand falls behind to counteract the lunge. This is why backhand 5-hole for lefties works like a charm. As for the delayed shot, nobody does this better than Zabinijad, who has been frustrating goalies with this tactic coming down the right wing. While we all know goalies are a bit crazy in the head, they do have a great memory, and so years of seeing Spezza come down that right wing, faking a shot and going short side has opened up a new opportunity to go 5-hole. Because goalies tend to come out more to cut off the angle for righties than for lefties, a fake shot or delay will create more ground to cover for the goalie. If they drop to their knees, you'll likely have plenty of room short side and 5-hole won't be necessary. But if the tendy successfully doesn't fully bite on the fake, they will be backtracking while they're worried about short side or maybe even a pass or a wrap job. This locks the knees and makes aiming for the feet along the ice easy money. I'm personally a bit confused why we don't see more righties using this move as it's low risk and opens up a multitude of options, many of which embarrass the goalie. The next move I'm also super surprised we don't see more of. But before we get into that, please go ahead and support the channel by subscribing to Along the Ice. It means a lot to me and my brothers and will help us in producing more deep hockey analysis for you guys. Thanks. Who else misses Prime Line A? This guy could rip the puck and go high glove better than anyone else in the league. This is why his backhand of forehand deke while drifting left was so successful. He seemingly just tucks the biscuit between the pillows like he's putting the puck down for a nap. But again, this works as goalies have seen righties for years go backhand forehand shelf, and so the reaction has them overreacting to the glove side. 
This actually happens a lot in shooting scenarios, but mostly by luck. I think righties driving cage or approaching from left should use this more. Pasta has done this a couple of times and uses the threat of a pass to get the tendy not to stay square and move into a pseudo VH. Lefties seemingly can do this on demand, but for righties they need to leverage a distraction and beat the tendy to the deck short side 5. To finish things off, let's talk about the classic forehand backhand 5. Yes this is easier for lefties, but righties can do it too. The difference is that righties need to target the backside leg in most cases. This is because the stick is traditionally in the goalie's right hand and the stick will mirror the puck as you bring it to the backhand. Not to worry though. If you go against the grain, there still should be enough room to find pay dirt. Now I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think is the best righty 5-hole shooter in the NHL today? And what tactic do you find most effective? Do you think I missed any? As for our next video, you will not want to miss out. We all hate when our shots are blocked, so Along the Ice is going to detail different methods NHL players are using to get their shots through the D. So please like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out.